Hello everybody, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video and in this one what I'll be explaining to you is how you can use Force New Idols or shortened to FNIS in Mod Organizer 2 for Skyrim, uh, in this case for Skyrim Special Edition. So let's get right into it. First what you're, wanna, what you're gonna wanna do is of course download FNIS from Nexus and you're gonna wanna download the main file. Make sure it is high up in the load order next to the patches and UI um mods uh and also what you're gonna want to download is let me just find it uh here it is uh you want to download the creatures patch and the spells patch uh, this output file i'll explain later but download those and make sure that creatures is above spells however make sure that both are in their uh, needed load order places and once you do that it will be installed when you just tick these and they will be activated but you want to run finesse through mod organizer to actually get it to run you need to add this executable by yourself by going to edit clicking add from file uh, navigating to your mod organizer file with your mods navigating to special edition going to mods and finding finesse which is over here open that go into tools generate finesse for users and click on the exe click open and it should be added then afterwards just rename it to finesse and that should be perfectly fine then you want to run it in mod organizer 2 it'll open up this window click update from this behavior and it should update everything perfectly uh, in this case i will get an error because this mod list is broken because i didn't use it in a while and a lot of mods deactivated however you should get this uh, animations for three mods successfully included click consistency check and you should get zero consistency issues then just click exit and what you're going to want to do after that to actually run it how it's supposed to be right click overwrite create mod and then you're just going to want to create that finesse output file that i mentioned and after you do just play the game and everything should work i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope everything was clear if it wasn't just comment and i'll explain it further and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in another video